My dear friends, the Roman Catholic bishops of Minnesota and around the United States have long been concerned about the nation's immigration policy. It is inconsistent, ineffective, and fails to promote the common good. Each day in our parishes, social service programs, hospitals, and schools, we witness the human consequences of a broken immigration system. Families are separated, workers are exploited, and our fellow human beings perish in the desert. Every immigrant is a person, a daughter, a son, a mother, a father. And each of those persons possess fundamental inalienable rights that must be respected. As Christians, we have a responsibility to welcome the foreigner out of charity and respect for that person's dignity. Supporting legislation that helps repair our broken immigration system is part of that responsibility. The issue of immigration reform is a complex one, colored by a debate where myths are often confused with facts. We recognize that many struggle with issues as to how to balance respect for the rule of law, limited resources, and security concerns, while at the same time welcoming those seeking to escape poverty and to be reunited with their families. Our conversation here today is meant as a way in which we can come together to embrace our responsibility as citizens, to form our consciences on this issue, and to prepare for an appropriate response. The Catholic bishops of Minnesota support comprehensive immigration reform that offers a reasonable path to citizenship for the millions of aspiring citizens in our midst. We hope that after hearing from our distinguished panel of presenters, that you will be persuaded to join us in advocating for this important policy reform. This afternoon, I have the privilege of introducing Senator Amy Klobuchar on the issue of immigration reform. She has been a leader among both her Senate colleagues and in helping to foster a broad and diverse coalition, working to educate lawmakers and all Minnesotans about the importance of this issue.